Hello Grade 10 Learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pala sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. So for today's video ay continuation ng playlist natin that is all about permutations and another type of permutation is what we call permutations with identical objects. Again, take note that we are considering uh, the order of an object but by this time, ang given natin ay identical objects. So when we say identical, that is in Tagalog, magkatulad or magkamukha or magkaparehas. So therefore, our mathematical concept is the number of permutations of n objects, again, we're talking about n objects, of which n sub 1 are of one kind and n sub 2 are of a second kind, ellipses, n sub k are of a kth kind is given by. So, therefore, yung mga objects natin dito na given ay identical. n factorial, which is the total number of items given, all over n sub 1 factorial, that is the first kind, times n sub 2 factorial, that is uh, same kind. And then, times ellipses times n sub k factorial. So, k denotes kung ilan yung given nating objects. So, for you to be able to understand it better, so let's have a problem. Roxanne has three bases of the same kind. Again, let's take note of our given three bases of the same kind and two candle stands of the same kind. In how many ways can she arrange these items in a line? So therefore, in our question, tinatanong kung ilang ways daw to i-arrange in a line. So therefore, uh, arrangement is taken into account. So therefore, it is under permutations. So identical objects kasi sinabi dito, so meron siyang clue word na of the same, of the same kind. So, let us solve this problem. So, we have n factorial. So, we have how many items? So, 3 plus 2. So, we have here 5 factorial. So, we have 5 factorial over the first object that we have. So, that is n sub 1 is three bases. So, therefore, we can write it as three factorial. And then, the next kind or the next object that is n sub 2 is two candle stands. So, that is two factorial. So, as easy as that. To simplify this, so we need to write five factorial with a factor of three factorial para makancel natin. So, this can be written as five times four times three factorial all over 3 factorial to factorial. So, ngayon, ikakancel na natin yung uh, common factors with the numerator and denominator, which is 3 factorial. Equals, 5 times 4 is 20. Over, 2 factorial is 2. So, that is 2 times 1 is 2. So, therefore, 20 divides to 2 is 10. So, therefore, there are 10 ways that Roxanne can arrange these items of the same kind in a line. So, to check our answer, so we can uh, link this uh, with technology by using scientific calculator. But, mas maganda if you are going to solve it manually. So, it check lang naman natin if we got the same answer. So, that is 5. So, for our numerator, so that is 5. Then, shift tung x uh, factorial. So, yun. And then, sa denominator naman ay 3 factorial. So, lagyan natin ng open and close parentheses. And then, 2 factorial. So, we will get the same answer na 10. So, there are 10 ways. So, let's have another problem under permutations with identical objects. 
So, how many different nine-letter words, real or imaginary, can be formed from the letters in the word comedy? Again, yung word natin na gagawa ng nine-letter words, it's either real or imaginary, is the word comedy. So, uh, notice that we have here identical objects. So, ano yung identical objects dito sa salitang comedy? So, merong mga letters na nauulit such as M, kasi double M siya, T, and then E. So, therefore, the presence of these repeated letters reduces the number of different words. So, i-take note muna natin yung mga letters. So, C, so there is only one C, O, so, there is also uh, one O, and then M. So, there are two. I, there is one. T, dalawa. At yung I natin ay dalawa din. Okay, ito. So, to solve this problem, so, committee has... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 has 9 letters. So, therefore, ang ating N objects ay 9. So, we have here 9 factorial. And then, ang ating uh, denominators ay eto. So, etong item na to. So, that is 1 factorial times 1 factorial 2 factorial 1 factorial 2 factorial and 2 factorial and then to simplify this one so pwede natin kuhanin yung 9 factorial as 362,880 over so, itong 1 factorial ay understood 1 na siya. So, doon lang tayo sa may 2. So, 2 factorial is 2. So, that is 2 times 2 times 2. We have here 8. Then, 362,880 divided by 8. We have here 45,360 ways. So, that's it about permutations with identical objects. So, I hope that you learned something today from me. So, don't forget to share this video. Give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. See you on my next video lesson. And thank you for watching.